Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator, a road to a million miles. Uh, we stopped here last night at this uh, truck stop. And uh, we're going to head back over here. Oh, uh, just got done uh, with our morning shower and stuff. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning. we we'll finish off the rest of our trip today. There is our truck from where we parked it last night. Looking all nice and clean. Walk over here and double check everything. Make sure it's all good. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can't get down under here. Ugh. Just want to make sure nobody unhooked the kingpin so we can get a little closer. Looks like it is still in there nice and good. Get back out. Ugh, there we go. Too early in the morning for that. Ready for fuel looks good. This quick morning walk around the truck. Everything still looks good. Still locked and secured. So, for those of you that watch this channel for LSPDFR, please please watch this video because I got some important stuff to talk about based, you know, off LSPDFR and stuff. So we're just trying to get everything up to snuff with the truck, make sure it's all ready to go before we uh, get on the road. Just trying to make sure everything uh, looks good on it. So. All right, let's hop up in here and uh, see what we can get going. All right, let's uh, fire this bad boy up real quick. There we go. All right, so like I said, there's a few things that I do want to discuss. Um, it is 4.16 in the morning. We got 346 miles to go, and uh, we still have like... I think it's 12 hours yes so we have it's not expected till uh, Friday 9:30 or before 4 p.m. Uh, today here Friday so um, I need to get rid of that there we go all right so so yeah all right so I do have the wheel cam uh, it's on a separate button that I'm gonna push uh, I didn't want it on all the time only when I'm driving so that's there so let's turn on the headlights all right, and uh, we'll get you guys the cam up. We'll drop this bad boy in second, and now we'll do third. So, yep, so like I said, there's a few things that I want to talk about. We'll go over that. Let's push the brakes in. Uh, we're going to get going, then we'll discuss those things I want to discuss. Um, so first off, I want to give a huge shout-out to uh, CST Gaming. So yeah, I want to give a huge shout out to CST Gaming. Uh, he helped me figure out why my shifter was wrong for an Eaton Fuller 10 speed. And turns out, um, when you map it, uh, you have to map it according to your actual shifter layout and then the game takes over from there. I thought you mapped it to how you wanted to. And uh, that was incorrect. So, uh, huge shout out to CST for helping me figure that out. I will link his channel down below. He does a lot of American Truck Simulator. And uh, he's also in MSRP with us, which is also a bonus. And uh, he does some really good role play in there too. So um, I do have it set up to where I can float gears. However, uh, it is not like a real truck at all. Uh, so there will probably be a little Use bit of time left lane, then turn left. before I get um, good at that. So, um, turn left. so the way I have this set now is more like an actual... Uh, Eaton Fuller 10 speed. Ooh, that was a little fast. Um, and I will show you that here in a second. So, what I was having to do before is that seventh, uh, sixth gear was actually still part of the low range. So, it was one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'd have to flip up and go to seven. On the real one, it's one, two, three, four, five, flip up, go to six. Um, the way I had had it mapped before, that didn't work. Uh, so CST helped me figure that out. So uh, we got that work. We now have a correct um, 
eating fuller 10 speed and actually the truck drives better now uh, takes off a little better uh, operates a little better um, so the correct gearing for 10 speed was definitely uh, what I was missing uh, in my uh, in my which is the reason that the truck was driving like shit so <laughs> uh, see right now we're in ninth gear and we're gonna go ahead and set cruise control and set this bad boy for 55 for now uh, I rewatched the last video I did and realized that I was driving really reckless and really fast so we're gonna slow her down a little bit and make sure that we are driving responsibly more so um, CST also uh, said to set my uh, mirror scaling down and move a little closer in the truck because some of my stutter could have been from the uh, mirrors uh, trying to reproduce so much stuff in the background when you don't really need them that much uh, so it looks a little weird back there since it's just a dead sky but hopefully that will reduce some of the lagging and we'll go from there so but I know a lot of you guys are here to hear about what I got to say about LSPDFR so as some of you know I made a post in my discord saying that LSPDFR is broke again uh, I did absolutely nothing to it to break it and we got to go to the way station um, I filmed episodes with it we went on the cruise I'm on the rumble strip because I don't know how to drive uh, we went on the cruise I came back I fired it up and it broke uh, it's broken I don't know what it is it says air pack fill air pack fill one some shit like that I don't know what it is it's that game is a fucking headache from hell um, those of you that play it know that it is just a clusterfuck of stupidity navigation resume. excuse uh, excuse my language but it is it is a clusterfuck of stupidity scale here we'll get back to it in just a second we're gonna see what they got to say uh 79 ,000 pounds so we'll start off in third she's a little slow hopefully this guy's gonna not be a complete and total dick and he is wow oh, i'm cutting you off That's six now, which is where it's supposed to be. Seven. I'll see if I can float eight. See how bad this is gonna be. There it went. Floated that one. Um, so, but yeah, LSPDFR, um, I'm gonna back out of it a little bit. I'm not gonna stop with it. Uh, however, I've got to figure out why it's broken and probably end up having to upgrade or update the whole damn thing and just be a massive headache. Uh, so it's going to take a little while, um, but I'm having a blast with ATS and I know a lot of you guys are too. I know there's a lot of you that don't like ATS and you're not here for ATS and I understand that. And um, But at the same time... Um, can't play LSPDFR forever. I mean, the game is going to get old. It's going to get worn out. I mean, it's already old and worn out. Um, the game drives me absolutely nuts as it is. Just trying to get it to work half the time. It is a hassle to get that game to work. Um, you guys have no idea how much time and energy I spend on that game trying to get it to work. You know, and then Behagio took all of his stuff down and you know, so all the good mods for it are now gone. I have most of them still, but once I update to, you know, I'm on 0.4.1. So once I update to 0.4.3, just to get the damn game to work, um, all the stuff that I have is not compatible. So with uh, him taking all of his mods down, the game breaking, me having to update, it's just uh, not worth it. Like, it's literally not worth it. The game is just... It's a headache, you know, and if they're going to keep taking their mods down, you know, it, I don't know. I don't, 
I don't want to make you guys sad that it ain't out here, but it's going to slow down a lot. It's You're not going to see LSPDFR as much, you know, and I'm completely fine with, you know, obviously I want you guys to enjoy the channel and the content and, you know, I completely understand if some of you guys, you know, leave because there's not going to be as much of it as there used to be, but I just, I can't anymore. It's, you know, I'm starting a new job Monday in the same line of work I've been doing and I, I mean, I won't be out of town or anything, but it's just the game is so much work to keep it going that it's, it's stressful. It really is. I mean, for some of you guys that play the game and know the the horrors of it breaking on you, you guys understand and know how stressful that it actually is. And then when you're running a YouTube channel and you've got people that constantly want content and they want to see it all the time, you know, and, and I appreciate it because it means that you guys are enjoying the content, but at the same time, it's stressful because, you know, I'm trying to film episodes, I start the game up and then boom, air, fill pack this or air corrupt game data or you know this broke that or that broke this or this isn't compatible with this and you know and it's 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 kind of heartbreaking at the same time but it's very stressful you know so hopefully you guys will understand and you know stick with me through it uh, but it's, it's going to slow down it really is I mean that's really the only way to say it is that LSPDFR is going to slow down I've got LCPDFR working um, I'm still not very familiar with it, as you guys have seen by the episodes. Uh, I haven't filmed anymore. I'm kind of waiting on some more feedback. Uh, I still do MSRP. Um, I'm in the staff position. I'm the FTO. I do a lot of the interviews now. Uh, for some of you that are new to MSRP, you'll know because I'm the one that did your interview. Um, so, you know, we're working on that. Also, you know, we're coming up with a new training program for MSRP to make it more you know, beneficial, not as Use the left lane. complicated as it used to be. You know, we're trying to make it nice and simple, but yet get you guys in the server and playing so that you guys can have fun with us. So it's all coming. You guys just got to bear with it. But I just, I got to take a break from LSPDFR. The game is just, it doesn't never, it never cooperates. It's just a never ending mess. really kind of hoping this guy uh, there we go so you know I've thought about bringing some other games to the channel and stuff like that I also want your guys's opinions on when you think three years has passed like the lease on this truck would be three years um, I'm gonna buy my own truck I've actually installed quite a few trucks into the game as options, um, I've got some nice Peterbilts. I got some nice Kenworths. I've got some. Uh, I got a Peterbilt 389 Legacy Sleeper. You know, um, now theoretically you wouldn't buy those until you were way down and you know later in life. But we got some options that we can uh, do to increase that. So. Hopefully you guys have some input on that as well. I'd like to hear that. Um, if you've got ideas for civilian roleplay, some things that you'd like me to do as a civilian in MSRP, shoot those at me in the comments. I'd love to see that if you're into, into those videos. If you're not, then give me your suggestions for ATS, but make, just make sure that your suggestions are keeping in mind the, um, why are we? Keep, keep in mind that we're trying to make sure, oh, I gotta get over here. traffic is ridiculous. Why? Oh, shit. I'm do all the way to 5th. I don't know why we slowed down. this one. Nope. 
There we go. I floated it, but I had to bring it back out. I had the RPMs too high to begin with. It's much different than a real vehicle, a real truck. So, but yeah, if you guys got suggestions for MSRP civilian RP and you know things like that, and if you're not into MSRP you know, role play things, and you got suggestions for what you want to see in this game, uh, let me know. Just make sure that uh, you keep in mind that we are role playing as a lease operator. And not everything is available. Like we can't just do uh, a lot of the stuff that some people might think we should do. You know, as a lease operator. So we can add stuff to the truck because we've got money, but really the goal right now is to save up the money to buy our own truck and go from there. Just have to see how oh, I am driving extremely slow. I want to get back over. I kind of wanted to stay at 55. 55 is a comfortable speed in this truck. The problem with 55 is it's ninth gear, <laughs> so you can't get that tenth gear. And I got fuel. Yeah, we got fuel when we stopped last night, so we're good on that. But I just wanted to go over some things with you guys and let you know what was going on and why. You know, I'm also thinking about getting back into making skins for LSPDFR. Uh, I've been browsing the site a little bit and there is a lack of quality skins. Uh, I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts on that. And that's just another thing. I mean, I don't want this whole video to sound like a uh, bitch fest or a rant, but it kind of is just because as I go through and see things and look at things, I realize just how far down the shitter LSPDFR and the oh shit, I got to get over it, and the entire modding community Use has the come. Right lane. Go, dude. I did not grind. I was in the gear. Shut up. Um I mean <laughs> There is so much, this guy stole this, and that guy stole that. This, I mean, I got into it with a guy the other day that has my my EUP belt that was made for me. How he got it, he says he bought the parts. I, I, quite frankly, I don't even give a shit anymore. There's so much, why is that a thing? There's so much of, this guy did that, or this guy stole this, or this guy's car's not right, or this light bar is too big, or... You know, just stupid shit. It's like, why are you guys even fighting about it? It's let's encourage each other to make better stuff so that we can all enjoy this game. And they just don't. They just fight all the time. It's, you know, you can't be friends with this guy because this guy, you, because you can't be friends with one guy because one guy that you're friends with doesn't like that guy. Or it's like a, it's like fucking high school. It really is. Like I'm, I'm 36 years old as of six days ago or five days ago. Or Use the left lane. Whatever it is, and it's like this is what we're we've come to in a in a modding community for a freaking video game. It's like that's ridiculous. It's a video game. You know. I mean, I get it. People want their stuff to be nice, and don't get me wrong. You know, I'm a little critical of cars because I have a, s a specific criteria that I, l I look for when making cars. You know, breakable glass map white plates. Those are map license plates. Those are the main things I look for. But the constant bickering, and it's annoying. You know? That's another reason I, I use custom made cars. I don't go on the site anymore and look for cars because the comment sections are a shit fest of everybody's got a bigger dick and it's you know I may put in the title of this video uh, <laughs> PG-13 because it's kind of a rant some stuff that I've been wanting to say and I ain't really had the platform to say it on until I play ATS where I just Use the left lane. sit in a truck all day and I got time to say it so there's going to be a lot more ATS now just because I enjoy the game. I enjoyed driving a semi in real life when I did, and now that I can't do it, this is the only opportunity I've got. So, 
this is where it's going to happen, you know. Uh, I, I hope you guys, a lot of you guys, continue on the journey with me. And I understand if a few of you don't, you know, because you don't, you don't, you don't like, L or you don't like ATS, or you're here for LSPDFR, and that's understandable. I will get it fixed, and I will continue on, but I don't have any of the new Behagio mods, or Behalio, or however you say his name. I don't have any of them. So, when I update to 0.4.3, that's it. I don't have any of the new mods to run the game. Or at least run the game and it be as nice as I had it before, so. We'll just have to take it one step at a time and see what happens. But in the meanwhile, I am enjoying ATS and this Road to a Million Miles, and it looks like a lot of you have. Um, and I did, uh, I went back and watched a few of my ATS videos and realized that my ads were way too, I was doing every seven minutes for ads, and realize that was way too close together because even I was like oh my god another ad that is ridiculous um, so I have spaced the ads out a little bit just so they weren't so annoying uh, see I don't get the full effect when I'm on the computer because I have ad blocker so when I watch them back on my phone just you know because a lot of you guys don't realize I actually go back and watch my own videos as a viewer to see how it turned out see where the ads are see if the quality is good you know because I film it I edit it I put it together I render it and I upload it and then a few days later I go back and rewatch it as a viewer and realize that well this doesn't work the way I wanted it to or this isn't quite what I thought it would be you know I wait for a little bit of time to pass and then rewatch it after I've kind of forgotten what I did with it use the left lane and then you know we go from there so I've been doing that, so I think I'm switching the ads to every 14 minutes in a video. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about that. Um, I do have a Patreon account. You guys are more than welcome to go sign up for that. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, it's there. I do have one Patreon as it is. Uh, however, I can never remember his name, and I do apologize. Why would you do that? Um, one thing I wanted to talk about, I was looking through some map mods for ATS. Uh, I found Coast to Coast, however, the reviews are terrible. Uh, there's open holes and roads, roads that don't connect. Uh, the biggest complaint that I seen was that Columbia, South Carolina just looked like Oregon or uh, Portland, Oregon, which is because they just copy and paste it. That's all Coast to Coast has ever been, was just a uh, copy and paste of the original SCS map so I don't know that I'm gonna switch to that right away just because what's the point in going to South Carolina if it looks like Portland Oregon so we'll see we'll see how that works out in the end I'm coming over dude I ain't supposed to be in I've been in the left lane for way too long But I do appreciate all you guys that are enjoying ATS. Uh, that makes me happy. And I appreciate it. There's a big Love's truck stop right there. SCS does the merging, traffic merging. Kind of wish they would uh, fix that a little bit, <laughs> but it is what it is. It's sad that I'm doing uh, five miles an hour under the posted limit for trucks, and I'm still passing trucks. It's pretty sad, actually. So for those of you that skipped through everything I was talking about, uh, we are taking uh, 42,000 pounds of empty pallets from uh, Mather or Mather Airport in California. 
and we are headed to Tacoma, Washington. This is day two of the trip. Uh, if you missed the first the first episode of this trip, which was episode number four of Road to a Million Miles. Use the left lane. And uh, I realized after I did the video that I didn't show you guys the miles, how far we had actually made it. So um, I will show you that when we finish today's trip, uh, the amount of miles. Use the left lane. Um, and we still have only, oh, we only got 24 miles left, so that's good. We're 24 miles out, and I don't know what time it is. I'm not sure if there's even a clock without going through the uh, dashboard stuff. I need to remap that key to my steering wheel. up there the whole time. So it's 11, 12, and we should be coming up on our exit soon. Yep, right here. Use the right lane, then take the exit on the right. Yeah, so I'm extremely happy take the exit on that the my right. shifter is now correct, so... Again, a huge shout out to CST Gaming for uh, helping me figure that out because it was bugging the shit out of me. Like this is seventh gear. Before it would be like way over here, and it was just annoying. Use the right lane. There's a left turn lane. Why are we just sitting here? Use the left lane, then turn left. Turn I left. I don't know what these guys are doing other than being stupid. We're gonna see if we can float these gears. Looks like I'm clear. Yep, there's third gear. Fourth gear. I grind the shit out of it. Fifth gear. Sixth gear. In 200 meters, Seventh turn right. Gear. There we go. All right, but well we got turn up here, so. I forgot we were going to Walmart. Turn right. All right. Actually, let's go to fifth. You have arrived. You have arrived. All right. So we're going to get the trailer all the way in here. And then we'll stop up here and park. And we'll go find out where they want the trailer. All right. Turn it four ways on. Pop the brakes. All right. We're going to hop out. Go find them and uh, see where they want the trailer real quick. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, got some empty pallets from Mather Airport. Yeah, here's the bills. Door 9. All right, where's that at? On the backside? Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. All right. So he says door nine, which is on the back side of the building. So we're going to go figure out how bad that's going to be to get into. All right. Let's uh, push the brakes in. Second.
third gear. I'm getting pretty good at the floating thing for the game. Like I said, in real life, it's much different. Fourth, nine. Oh, it's going to be that far door, too. All right. That just means it's going to be a real pain in the ass to get into. So we're going to have to make a U-turn and blindside it. And that is uh, not fun. Because I am not very good at blindside backing. see what we can get our what kind of trouble we can get into with this it's past that orange trailer down there which is going to be on the other end of that blue one so this this is going to be a shit show I can tell you that right now get out and look is about to happen. Alright, let's stop right there. Hop out and look real quick. Alright. I think that's why you get out and look. Because I would have straight hit that truck. Going, buddy. All right, so, we have to straighten up a little bit and fix that because we are way off. All right. So, yep, definitely. That's why you always get out and look. Even close. <laughs> I would have straight hit that truck right there. And my trainer, if he ever watches this, would be very upset that uh, I didn't try to get out and look if I hadn't. Stop right there. Hop out, take a look again, make sure we're close. Alright. Let's see if we're close this time. There we go. A little better. So if I keep pushing it, I should be alright. Uh, it's gonna take a while at this rate. <laughs> I'm gonna keep pushing the truck. All right, let's uh, push the brakes in again. Put it in reverse. Nice and slow. Let's see if we can't start. Nice and slow. It's hard to see out of that little corner mirror. Alright, let's stop. Let's double check. Alright, let's uh, see where we are now. Look at that. Just where I wanted it. So all we gotta do now is uh, turn the truck tires to the left a little bit push just a little and then back to the right and straighten it out that is beautiful all right let's hop back up in here and get this finished all right all right so back to the left a little because like I said we're gonna back to the left a little push the trailer and then stop and then we'll turn the truck all the way back to the right because now we're going to put the truck under the trailer. Mm 
blindside backing is like the worst possible thing you could do. Alright, so we're not in the spot yet, but we're in the hole, which is good enough. Now we'll just uh, straighten it out. My hard turn left. You'll like snake it. Just snake it a little bit. That's all we gotta do. And you'll see that that trailer will now be about where I want it. And we'll keep it to the right a little bit to push the trailer. Make sure we're not gonna hit that trailer over there. Moved my head and messed up my train of thought. All right. I don't think I'm still right where I need to be. Yeah, I'm still a little crooked. All right, so let's uh, pull up straight a little bit. I'm still off, so we'll snake it one last time. All the way to the left, all the way to the right, and then back to the left to get back under it. Put her in reverse, get back under, and then nice and straight back. It's going to create a V with the cone, with like the edge of the trailer is going to look like it's closer to that back cone than the front cone. It's the V. If you try to line the trailer and the truck up, you'll be crooked every time. why I like a manual transmission. Nice and easy on the clutch. Puts it right where you want it. And I am still crooked as shit. And there we go. Alright, so we are where they want it, so we'll put this in there. Turn off the slashers, because that's annoying. And hit the brakes. And now we'll just uh, sit here and wait for them to unload us. All right, so as you can see, we got 810 miles. Uh, took 30 hours and 42 minutes, 182 gallons of fuel consumed. We were paid $2,641. That is awesome. And then in here, I'll show you the progress history. I'll show you how many miles we've driven. So, so far, we've driven 1,912 miles. So, we still got a long ways to go. <laughs> Uh, this driven distance on duty doesn't count because I didn't change those. I only changed the top one, total driven distance. So that's what we're doing. So don't worry about none of this stuff down here. Just this total. So for those of you that are new, uh, all we're counting is the total driven distance. This stuff is, uh, what I did is I decrypted the SII file and changed it. Um... So that uh, we could count the road to a million miles. So this stuff is all from like when I was doing other loads and skipping and jumping and jumping and skipping and flying and teleporting and stuff like that. So this is the only one that counts. The 1,912 miles that we've driven. Uh, so we're going to go to our map real quick while we got the iPad open. And see if there's a place to park. Or actually, let's go to the cargo market and see if our fleet manager has sent over some loads in this area that we may uh, be interested in. Uh, so we've got the Port of Tacoma. It could go to a Walmart in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That is a long ass drive. But that is seven uh, grand. So we could probably go pick that up and then get on our way. Uh, expected Monday by 5 p.m. That is 1,748 miles, so I think we'll take that one. Uh, sugar. So we're going to go ahead and accept that load. I don't know if we're at the right place for it. Well, no, we're not because we're at a Walmart, and this is a port of... Okay, yeah, so... All right. So we've got our new load. So all we're going to do now is uh, get this truck out of here and get, get going. Let's uh, get it started up here. Right, perfect. All right, let's mash the clutch in. Put this bad boy in third gear, and we're empty, so it should move easy. Now this will be a little difficult. Of how tight that hole was to get in, but we should be all right. Getting a little stuttering there. Okay. All right. So we're gonna come out here and straighten it up, and then just make sure that we're good. Right, 
Let's uh, stop here real quick. Just want to make sure that everything is still hooked up. Airlines are still good. Let's hop under here. Make sure nobody messed with the kingpin and they did not. Back here. Make sure all our stuff is good. Uh, everything is still good. back in here. And go over and pick up our load. Alright. Let's push the brakes in. And we'll do third gear. And let's go get our load from the port of Tacoma. And we are going to float work just fine almost at the fence you gotta have like this little gap to float it turn on the turn signals y'all all done with me yep all right cool thanks man figured I was, but better to be on a safe side and ask. Alright, let's go. Turn left. I am. Floating the gears. Oh. I stripped that one. If you can't find it, grind it. Six gear. In 200 meters, turn right. Just leave it six because we're turning right here. Turn right. And we'll put it in fifth. There we go. Said I make most of my turns in fifth or sixth gear. Depending on type of turn, speed and stuff. noticed that uh, CST helped me fix that. I've noticed this truck actually uh, takes off and drives better too now. So I can't thank him enough for helping me fix that out. Or help me fix that issue and get it working. And as I said, I'll post a link to his channel down below so you guys can go check him out. He does a lot of cool ATS stuff and uh, MSRP stuff as well. I know somebody blowing the fucking horn at me. Is that really someone blowing the horn at me? I hope that's not someone blowing the horn at me. You keep blowing it, fucker. I, I don't know. Light wasn't green. What am I supposed to do? Ain't it nobody behind me, though, so... It's a Lowe's truck stop right there. a place up on the left or up on the right. We'll just stay here in seventh temporarily. Is that Port of Tacoma, which I feel is up on the right by the looks of it. Uh, Port of Tacoma. Port of Tacoma. Alright. 
stalled at that time. Stop here and talk to the guard. You have arrived. You have arrived. Thank you. All right, let's pop the brakes and see what's going on. Cargo market. And we are taking a bunch of sugar to Albuquerque, New Mexico. That is a long drive, but hopefully it's going to pay the bills. So. Get you guys that back. Cargo is ready. Please head to that area. All right. Let's push the brakes in. Third. Just wait to get loaded. Shut this down. There we go. All right. Well, I guess we'll wait to get loaded. All right. Well, they finally got us loaded. It is three o'clock in the afternoon, something like that, give or take. Uh, I know there's a truck stop right here somewhere. Um, 31 hours, 37 minutes. I'll have to stop at least twice. Let's see if we can uh, pull this up. Uh, so we've got 73 hours and 44 minutes. We have to stop in 4 hours and 22 minutes. Has to be there by Monday. It's Friday. So we got all weekend. So we're probably just going to run up to the Loves here that we were just at um, and stop there for the night. And then we'll get a nice fresh start tomorrow. I mean, we got 4 hours. Let's see if, how far we can go in 4 hours. I guess we could actually just go right here. Actually, we're just going to go down here, and that'll give us a nice, decent start. So we're going to head down to this truck stop here. That'll give us a decent start. Not a great one, but at least it'll put some distance between us. So truck stop right here. I don't remember what it is, but that's where we're going to go. How far is that? Well, it can't be that far. So we're going to head down there, and that's where we will call it a night. Let's uh, 
get rid of that and start this bad boy up get the gauges going all right I have no idea how heavy we are either so we'll probably need to cat scale it let's push those in and that's third gear so He's heavy. I hope this is how you get out of here. I think with places like this, you kind of just have to do what you can to get out. That's easy. If it tells you where the exit is, I'll choose the outside lane so I can swing a little bit into this little security pole thing they got here. us everything I need to know. So we'll go ahead and kill those. We don't need those no more. We'll turn that on. Amazon Prime. I might be sitting here a while. Thank you, Mr. Volvo. No, 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 don't do that. Why would you do that? Why? No, you let me out, that's it. There we go. I like how he was gonna let me out, then decided, oh, let me jump in this lane and block him a little bit. Air that or he blocked both lanes of traffic. Can never be too careful which one it actually was, so. We're gonna be turning right up here. straight then use the right lane uh, it's this one. use the right lane then turn right turn right
use the left lane. So we're just going to head down to that truck stop and that's where we'll call it a night. So it looks like lowering the mirror FOV seemed to help a little bit, but I don't know if it's a permanent fix. So I guess we'll find out. Use the left lane. Use the left lane. No, thank you. Uh, text messages always. Never text and drive. It's a terrible idea. Use the left lane. meters turn right turn right oh my god you guys have no idea the, the struggle it is with this truck hoping it would change before that, but I guess not. Come on. No? Me navigation turn resume. right. Alright, so where's the truck entrance? Make a U turn. Up there. Navigation resumed. Truck exit only, so we gotta go in down here. Navigation resumed. Make a U turn. Navigation resumed. Make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. Can I uh, do my thing first? So we're going to go up on a cat scale real quick. And uh, make sure we're not too heavy. I wish this game would do something about that. Like, if you were too heavy, like you'd have to go back to the shipper and have it readjusted. Or you could slide your tandems or something and make it better. But uh, you can't, so. Navigation resumed. Navigation resumed. Ten dollars. 80,459 pounds. Now, we don't have an APU, so technically, uh, we are overweight. But. But as.
as we lose fuel, oh, that'll go down a little bit. Because we still got three quarters of a tank of fuel, so. All right, let's turn these on. We'll find ourselves a parking spot. don't want the end one. Never take an end spot. That is where most accidents for trucks happen. So. did a little bit but better safe than hitting that guy's truck actually looks like we might have nailed it all right let's uh hop out see how we did parking looks like we looks like we're off a little bit so let's actually straighten that up so we'll snake it a little bit, not near as much as we did last time, because so we don't need to snake it that much. Just enough to get us a little closer that way. And I stalled it again, because this thing sucks. yours back until the mirrors lined up but I'm gonna go back just a little bit further till the rear trailer tires are touching and I do that for two reasons number one um, so we're not right next to him if he's idling his engine won't be in our ears and also uh, our reefer if it was on um, shut this off brakes uh, if our reefer is on it won't be right next to his cab so all right let's turn the headlights off and uh, let's hop out, make sure everything still looks good, and we'll call it a night. All right, I'll just run around here real quick, make sure everything looks good. I'm hanging over everything, but that's all right. Look at it, nice and straight, perfect in that spot. getting tired you should find a parking spot I am actually in one so <laughs> all right let's hop back in here so all right. all right guys well that's gonna do it for this episode of a road to a million miles I hope you enjoyed if you did slap that like button and leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it and your suggestions for everything that we talked about I do apologize for the rant at the beginning, but I felt like I needed to get it off my chest. And uh, we're going to have a good night here at the Loves, and I hope you guys also have a great night. And don't forget that you guys are the best, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care, guys.